This is a series where we discuss modifications made to anything, uh, vehicles of any kind, airplanes, cars, boats, trucks, crawlers. <laughs> so, uh, so here we go. This is the Tamaya Unimog. Some say Tamiya, some say Tamaya. I say Tamaya. And this was, uh, we, we had this on sale at Hobby King for some time. I don't know if it's still available, but it might be. Uh, you can check the website for that. But we did have it, and I was like, oh, that's cool. So I grabbed one and started building it. It was a fun build. It was a relatively straightforward build. It was not difficult at all. It comes with a motor, so you do need to supply an ESC and a servo. So Hobby King has all those components. We did that. The motor is a brushed motor, so you need a brushed ESC. And I may at some point upgrade it to a brushless motor system, but uh, for now, for the purposes I'm using it for, which is basically just bashing around, um, the brushed motor's fine, man. Plus, brushed motors are um, basically waterproof. So if I were to ever take this down to a uh, little creek or a brook or some kind of uh, water body, I could uh, bash right through it, which could be fun. And of course, you know, running in the snow or the rain or anything else, it um, doesn't even bat an eyelash at it. So I've got it paired with the uh, Noble FlySky Noble NB4 radio, and we'll have a feature video on this radio coming soon. This is a fantastic radio with a lot of great features. And again, there's a video coming for this soon, so watch out for that. Stay tuned. So, um, all right, so this is Mod Tech Monday, so we're going to talk about the modifications I made to this. So what did I do? Well, first things first, you might notice a spare tire. So I uh, got an extra set of rims and a spare tire and had that on there. Those of you with a keen eye will notice that this is not the exact same tire as these are which is only because I didn't get them in time. <laughs> I ordered the tires and they were back ordered. It took a while for me to get them. They're on their way. So the supplemental track video I may do of this will hopefully have the stock tire with the rim on it. But uh, for now, this was cool and just fine. I added a little scale ladder. We sell these at Hobby King, which is really kind of cool, a little scale ladder. So for you guys that are doing dioramas and things like that, whoops. You can have a little scale ladder, 110 scale, which is kind of neat. I appreciate little details like that, and I know a lot of you do as well. Um, moving on, what else did I do? I put in, I guess the best way to do this is to show you. I put in a sound system, which is really kind of neat. And uh, I've had sound systems in aircraft before, and they're really cool on the ground. Once they get in the air, they're really, they're not loud enough to, to really make an impression. Um, but, uh, but in a truck or a car, a whole different story. So, if I power this up, you will get to hear it, and let's see, where's my power switch? That's pretty cool, and it's, it might not come through on the video, but it's pretty loud, so I'm going to go ahead and lower it a little bit, but, uh, well, first of all, you can hear it rev. starts to distort the speakers, which is really no fun, or the speaker, there's one. Um, and you may also notice that I've got lights in it. And uh, we also sell these, these are the emergency flasher lights, I'll put up a link for the Hobby King SKU and uh, product page for that. But um, 
I thought, you know what, it's an orange vehicle, might as well put some orange lights on it, just make it look cool. And I mean, I dig lights, I think lights on cars and trucks are the one thing you need. So, you know, I don't have uh, tail lights or anything like that, but I do have, oh, knocked over the ladder. I do have headlights, and boy are they bright. Uh, you can't look directly at these things, they are so bright. But um, this, that's the, uh, the Turnkey Super High Power Headlight System, I believe it's called. I, I will put a link up and you'll get to see exactly what I got for those. But um, I've got them on a switch here, so flick them on, flick them off, flick them on, flick them off. And these lights, by the way, you can also change the different, se there's different sequences. So you can see they're going flat, they're faster now. Um, I think there's something like six or eight different series of uh, flashing sequences. So there's another different sequence. And I just, I'm just controlling that here on the uh, radio on one of these rotary dials here. So you can just cycle through the different uh, modes of the LEDs. So it's kind of cool. Uh, there's a, you know, a whole bunch of different things on it. And you can just have fun doing higher, high speed stuff and whatever. So, so like I said, there's all kinds of different options. And you can turn them off as well, which boring. Who does that? <laughs> so I would leave them on like that. So to recap, what happened? Uh, so we got the lights from Turnigy, it's the emergency flasher system. We've got the headlights, which is the Turnigy high power headlight system. And the sound system is something that we, I don't think we have any longer. Um, this is called the ESS-1 from Sense. We had this for some time and I had this in another vehicle. I had this in a rally car I was driving around. And um, it's a really cool system because you can not only does it sound good, it, you know, it gets loud, but you can download all kinds of different sounds to it. So this is obviously a truck package of sounds, but for the rally car, I had rally car sounds, and it's really intense. It's really cool. There's a lot of really cool options that um, that are available for that. So, like I said, I don't believe we sell this anymore, but we do have the Turnigy sound system, which is also excellent. I've had that in different vehicles before as well. And um, so I'm going to do a future video at some point with that sound system in a different vehicle. Or maybe I'll put it into this one, but um, you probably want to see something else by then. So maybe I'll put that into a rally car and drive that around and you'll get to see what that sounds like. But um, that's about it for the mods. Oh, like I said, I do have, I have the I Hobby Wing ESC in there, Brush ESC. We sell those. I'll also put a link to that at the end of the video. Like I said, this Tamiya kit went together very, very straightforward. Um, it was not a difficult build. Well, let's see, what steering servo have I got in there? Um, I've got one of the, uh, the BMS Bluebird type servos in there. It's a nice, powerful servo. Again, I will put up a link to that. I'll, I'll list all the components I've used in this, show you everything I've got in it. And uh, I think that's about it. Um, if you have any other ideas you'd like to see a Mod Tech video made for, please send them our way. You can comment in the YouTube section. Uh, we can also be reached to Facebook, Instagram, social media, our support channels. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear some future suggestions for Mod Tech Monday videos. And just to let you know, we're going to resurrect the Tips video series. And because this is called Mod Tech Mondays, I think we're going to change the name from Tips Bench, which it used to be, to Tip Tech Tuesday. And we'll alternate. We'll do, um, you know, we'll alternate Mondays, Tuesdays, whatever. So just keep an eye on the site on, for Hobby King and uh, YouTube and all that stuff and you'll see what we're doing. But um, that Tip Tech Tuesday will just be tips, you know, all kinds of um, helpful tips to get you started in the RC community, help you keep going in the RC community, uh, you know, just all kinds of stuff. Uh, beginner, advanced, and intermediate, and we're gonna cover all the bases. Every day someone new joins the hobby, so there's obviously a big market for beginner help and tips and stuff like that for folks that are just getting their feet wet with, feet wet with RC. Um, and then we're going to do some advanced stuff, too. I don't know what it'll take, but, um, you know, we'll do whatever's needed. <laughs> so that's it for Episode 2 of Mod Tech Mondays. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, stay current with us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, if you ever need anything, just get in touch with the support. I'll put a link up for that. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Thanks.
Thank <laughs> you.